know, we are on technical aspect as of now. So there are a lot of tools being evolved in the ecos in, in, in the ecosystem of DevOps. And they're not actually DevOps tools per se. After we coined the name DevOps, anything which is fitting into the idea of DevOps is obviously called as DevOps tools. Okay. So there is no such thing called as tools created as a DevOps tools. There are tools which is helping us to automate the process of development till the production. And, uh, you know, and they are actually brought under the umbrella of DevOps tools as a, you know, high level name. The first one is, of course, your Git. It's a repo repository management, distributed repository management. It takes, it takes care of versioning. It takes care of uh, commitment. It takes care of people working together. Actually, it takes care of continuous integration. The CI concept, continuous integration, is taken care by the Git. So we will install Git. We'll learn the Git. Actually, as a team, who are, we are expecting 10 members in the session. I only see six and seven. One actually left now. OK. And um, mostly, I think it's technical reasons. OK. So we will actually work as a team to deliver small changes into some online website, which we'll just create. All right and see how a continuous integration concept works and what's the real advantage of it and how it should be implemented in your teams. Especially, Rina, if you're trying to create this uh, DevOps structure in your organization, all right, you, if you understand the value, okay. if you understand the value, how a uh -huh. integration is better than the traditional way of working, the traditional way of working is feature release. When you do a feature complete, then you push it to the trunk. Whereas continuous integration, every small change any developer does, it immediately push to the trunk. All right. And what's the benefit? Okay. You actually save the time is all discussed. So we will actually install the Git. We will do hands-on. We'll configure. We'll do a couple of use cases as a team. That's first. And the second, we'll move on to, I think second is Docker. Yes. I mean, we can take Jenkins as well. So we can, I, I'll go with Docker next. So this will be two day session on Git and two day session on Docker. Uh, in this two day session, first day of off day is mostly theoretical, talking about what is Docker and stuff. And then other off section is installing Docker. And then the next day we will do some use case and all of you also install and do it. Okay. And then We'll move on to Jenkins. We'll install Jenkins. We'll configure Jenkins jobs, and we will see how to uh, use a Jenkins. Jenkins. Jenkins is also called a CI server, continuous integration server. Okay. 